Hypocrisy is something that Jesus consistently warned against throughout his ministry, and his words challenge us to examine our own hearts. The reflection begins with the realization that it's easy to point out flaws in others while being blind to our own shortcomings. The passage in Matthew chapter 7 verses 3 to 5 reminds us that before we attempt to correct someone else, we must first take an honest look at ourselves. This humility allows us to approach others with grace, not judgment. In Matthew chapter 23 verses 27 to 28, Jesus calls out those who present themselves as righteous while hiding inward sin. It's a sobering reminder that God sees beyond our outward appearances and into our hearts. It's not enough to appear good or say the right things. God desires truth, integrity, and authenticity. This reflection calls us to ask ourselves, are we genuinely living out what we profess or are we just going through the motions? James chapter 1 verse 22 challenges us to be doers of the word, not just listeners. The essence of our faith isn't in what we say, but in how we live. If our actions contradict our beliefs, we deceive ourselves and those around us. It's a call to align our lives with God's word and allow it to transform us from the inside out. Romans chapter 2 verse 3 and 1 John chapter 1 verse 6 remind us that we can't hide from God. Our faith must be more than words. It must be visible in our actions, decisions, and interactions with others. When we claim to walk in the light but continue to live in darkness, we aren't just lying to others. We are lying to ourselves. In this reflection, let's ask God to reveal any areas of hypocrisy within us. Are there parts of our lives where we've become more focused on appearances than genuine faith? Are there moments where we've judged others without acknowledging our own faults? The good news is that God offers grace and forgiveness. When we come to him with humble hearts, he transforms us, allowing us to live authentically and sincerely in a way that reflects his love and truth to the world. Let's commit to being Christians who walk in the light, whose faith is more than words, and who strive to live out God's truth with sincerity and love. In doing so, we become true reflections of Christ's grace and mercy, drawing others closer to Him.